The C-Snake Compact is a versatile inspection system that allows you to diagnose and locate problems in drain and sewer systems. The camera head can enter lines as small as one and one half inches and includes an inline transmitter so you can pinpoint problems underground. The Compact includes a splash resistant camera control unit with a five inch black and white monitor. The Compact can be operated with the camera control unit mounted on the frame or it can be removed for placement in the optimal viewing position. The splash resistant monitor shield also serves as a tilt stand to help put the monitor at a better viewing angle. The compact can be powered with its included AC adapter or with an optional rechargeable battery pack. The camera control unit has a video output connector that allows you to connect it to a VCR or camcorder for documenting an inspection. The C-Snake Compact, small size and lightweight, makes storage and transport easy, even in restricted areas. The Compact uses the same quick-twist waterproof connectors as the standard and mini C-Snake cameras, so they're fully compatible with all existing C-Snake diagnostic equipment. The Compact's primary operating control is the red multifunction button located on the rear of the unit. This button has three functions. It turns the power on and off, activates an inline transmitter, and it adjusts the brightness of the camera's lighting. Which function the button performs depends upon how long it's pressed. Releasing the button quickly toggles the power on and off. When the power is on, the red status LED on the front of the camera control unit glows steadily. To activate your camera's inline transmitter, Hold the button down until the white status LED on the front panel begins flashing, then release it. The white LED will continue flashing to remind you that the transmitter is active. To deactivate the transmitter, hold the button down until the LED stops flashing, then release it. When you turn the system on, the camera's lighting will be at their maximum brightness. To dim the lights, Press and hold the red multifunction button until the red status LED begins flashing. The lights will cycle through their four brightness levels until you release the button. Please note that the camera's infrared lighting elements are visible to the Sea Snake's black and white camera head, but are not visible to the human eye, so you won't be able to see them when you turn the system on. Before we move on, the red status LED has two additional diagnostic modes you need to know about. If the LED flashes the Morse code SOS pattern, this indicates that the system is not receiving a video signal from the camera. If you see this warning, make sure the interconnect cord is plugged into the camera control unit, and if necessary, call the Ridge Tool Company's technical support group at 1-800-519-3456. Second is the low battery warning, which is indicated by a steady flashing. Because the system may not function normally when the battery charge becomes low, we recommend that you either change the battery or connect the unit to an AC power source as soon as possible. The other controls you'll want to be familiar with are the monitor's picture controls. Let's take a quick look at how you can use these controls to make your job faster and easier. You can set the brightness and contrast controls to provide the optimal image quality for indoor lighting conditions and instantly set the image to its full brightness with the full bright switch. This relieves you of having to readjust the brightness when you're inspecting in brightly lit areas. The camera rotates as you push it through turns in the line. The video flip switch allows you to rotate the on-screen image so it appears right side up. This is especially useful when showing customers what's inside their pipe. The compact is able to inspect lines from one and one half inches and from a wide variety of access points. When pushing the camera, here are a couple of things to keep in mind. Keep your hands close to the access point to avoid kinking the cable, and push straight in to avoid cutting the cable on the edges of cleanouts that may be sharp. You'll also want to keep your eyes on the monitor to make sure you're not pushing the camera into a place where it could get stuck. Although it's not required, you may want to keep your system clean to help maintain its professional appearance. The easiest way to keep your system clean is to run the cable through a rag as you push it back into the drum after an inspection. For a more thorough cleaning, unspool the cable, wipe out the drum, 
and wipe the cable with a wet rag as you spool it back into the drum. You can use a soft rag and a household cleaner like Simple Green, 409, or Windex to clean the camera control unit. In the past few minutes, we've introduced you to the Sea Snake Compact. We've shown you how its small size and lightweight make it easy to transport, and how its versatile power options and fast, simple operation make it easy to use. We've suggested some do's and don'ts for using the system, and shown you how to maintain it. We hope this information helps you get the most out of your new system. On behalf of everyone at Rigid Coleman, thank you for watching. Snake diagnostic tools are the industry's choice for pipe inspection equipment. The Sea Snake system includes standard and mini camera reels, a choice of monitoring and recording options, and a locating system for pinpointing problems underground. In the next few minutes, we'll show you some tips and tricks that can help you get more out of your Sea Snake system. If you don't have a Sea Snake system yet, call your nearest Rigid Coleman representative to arrange a demonstration. Quite often, two vents will tie in together like you see here. Here's a trick you can use to get into the line that ties in. Loop a length of string through the camera's spring and get it as close to the camera head as possible. By pulling the string as you push the cable, you can get the camera pointed through the tie-in. You'll probably have to turn the cable slightly so the string pulls the camera in the right direction, but with a little finesse, you'll get where you need to go. Once the camera is through the fitting, Make sure to pull the string out of the line to prevent hang-ups. When one line joins another, the shape of the fitting generally guides the camera in the direction of the flow. But in some cases, like where this 3-inch closet vent joins a 4-inch main line, the camera may go straight through the connection and hit the back of the fitting making it difficult or impossible to move forward. To get through a connection like this, try using a smooth quick push to pop the camera through the fitting. Let's look at it again. First, push until the camera hits the back wall of the fitting. Then grab the cable a few inches above the access point, pull it back another foot or so, then push the cable in one smooth quick motion. Notice that the operator is using his front hand to guide the cable to prevent it from folding over and kinking on the edge of the pipe. This technique also works well with the Mini Sea Snake. In this case, with a moderate effort, we were able to push a Mini through a combi where a 2-inch branch joins a 4-inch main line. But the spring folded over on itself and the camera went down the line backwards. To get through a fitting like this, push until the camera hits the back of the fitting. Pull it back another foot or so then use a smooth quick push to pop the camera through. When the cable is difficult to push, your pushing technique becomes very important. Here the operator is trying to work a mini sea snake through a tight turn in a restricted line, but his hands are too far from the access point and the cable is folding over on itself against the edge of the cleanout. Continuing to push like this could damage the cable, but by simply moving his hands closer to the access point, he's able to get through the turn without damaging the cable. Getting into the line from a removed toilet fixture can sometimes be tricky. The pipe we're entering here is an old cast iron pipe with several years worth of buildup. We're able to make it through the T-connection with some difficulty, 
but there's a combi immediately after. Because there are several tight turns in a short section of pipe, we can't build up enough momentum to pop the camera through with a quick push. As you can see, the camera simply won't go through the fitting from this access point. Here's another place where a piece of string looped through the spring can help get the camera pointed through the fitting. Notice that we're winding the string up through the coils of the spring so it's as close to the camera head as possible. Now that we have the string on, we'll put the camera back into the line and position it so we can see the back of the T. At this point, we're going to run some water in the line to help us determine which way is downstream. Now we'll push the camera into the fitting and pull back on the string to bend the camera head. As you can see, the camera is initially pointed upstream and it takes a bit of effort and finesse with the cable to get the camera turned in the right direction. Notice how careful the operator is being not to over twist or kink the cable, which could cause premature failure. Eventually, we get the camera turned and it goes right through the fitting headed downstream. Now that we have the camera through the combi, we'll pull the string off the camera so it doesn't hang up the camera when we pull back out of the line. There may be times when you need to inspect a branch line from a fixture tee. To use this access point, you must completely remove the trap and elbow. Even with the trap and elbow removed, however, getting the camera through this fitting can still be difficult because of the threaded extension on the T, the sharpness of the turn, and in this case, because of the large amount of buildup in the line. As you can see here, the camera can enter the fitting, but it can't make the turn. This is another place where a piece of string can be used to bend the spring and help the camera through the turn. Because this line is severely restricted, it's still difficult to push through the turn. But with a little persistence, the camera does get through. Once the camera is through, we'll pull the string out of the line to keep it from hanging up. If you're looking for an underground cleanout to use as an access point, but can't find one, try looking for it from inside the pipe. Here we're entering a 4-inch cleanout next to a toilet. We think the line flows to the right, in the direction of the sink. After just 4 feet, we see a tie-in. Running water verifies that this is the tie-in to the sink and tells us which direction is downstream. The water also tells us where the bottom of the pipe is. Because the camera tends to rotate as it goes through the line, we're going to leave the water running to give us a constant point of reference. At about 60 feet, we see another tie-in. This is about where the second bathroom should be, and we verify this by flushing the toilet. After 28 more feet, we find another tie-in. The two openings in this fitting are about a foot apart, which is what we'd expect to see in a double sweep cleanout. At a distance of 88 feet, we should be outside the building. Our camera has a transmitter, so we'll use a locator to pinpoint the camera's position and depth. If we needed to expose this cleanout, we'd know exactly where to dig. Here's a quick tip that can help improve your view inside the pipe. Try installing one pipe guide on the end of the spring near the camera head. Pushing the cable causes the camera to rock forward on the pipe guide, pointing the camera at the bottom of the pipe. Pulling back on the cable points the camera up, giving you a great view of the top of the pipe. Here's the same double sweep cleanout we just saw. Rocking the camera back on the pipe guide helps us see the fitting even more clearly. Many of the tips and tricks in this video were contributed by Sea Snake users just like you. If you have a favorite Sea Snake tip, trick, or technique, we'd like to hear about it. Please call our toll free automated tip line at 877 TIP PIPE. That's 877 847 7473. If you have sales questions, please contact your local Rigid Coleman representative 
or call 888-743-4333. You can also visit us on the World Wide Web at seasnake.com. And for information on the complete line of Rigid Coleman products, visit us at rigid.com. On behalf of everyone at Rigid Coleman, thank you for watching.